We are watching Claire's breast stroke above the water. Commentary by Coach Chris. Gonna let it run real quick, Claire, full speed, so we kind of take a look at the rhythm of your stroke. Alright, working on a lot of the fundamentals we've been talking about in practice. A few things to keep working on though. And uh, we're going to see a lot more underwater with breaststroke. Um, there's a lot more detail underwater than above water. But um, on this view, we're going to talk about a few things and reinforce a few things. Now, the first thing I want to talk about, you can see you're getting a really nice set on this pole getting into that, that, that Y position we talk about. So I really like that, doing a really good job. Now, pulling back really far with the elbows, and we're getting decent height, but I'd still like to come up just a little bit higher. Okay, I think you're leaning forward a little too much on this. You need to kind of pull up a little more, shrug up a little more, and get a little bit higher. Because right now I'm seeing you kind of this angle off the water and I'd kind of like you right about here okay so you want to be leaning forward but you don't want to lean too far forward on that so you can get the proper height in the stroke and that's really important because this the breast stroke that we're trying to adopt is kind of the skipping stone breast stroke and that helps generate a real high body position and helps generate a lot of energy through the stroke and uh, part of that is setting up that that position at the very top of our pull so getting there you're very very close I just want to see you get a little bit more vertical but pressing the head really well see that head go down that looks good and I feel like, let's go back a frame here. I feel like we're just pulling back just maybe a little too tight to the body. The hands are, are really low, kind of down tight. Now we'll get a better view of that underwater. I just want to make a note of that so we can look on that, look at that later. So, but still getting, per, you're, you're getting really good height. It's just, I want you just a little bit more vertical. Because what that does is that loads up the hips a little bit more and, and gets the kick a little more power. When, we're, when we stay kind of forward like this, it gets a lot of the work onto the arms and, and we don't have as much room for the hips to slide back and forward and drive the kick. Now kind of, see how your feet are all apart and your hands are kind of bent? Or your arms are bent, you know, try to keep the legs tight, try to keep them streamlined as we land on the wall. So this staying nice and low, this part of the turn looks nice. I like that. You're staying really low, bringing the feet underneath. So that turn looked pretty solid. Pull out like a little more patience on that second glide, kind of letting the feet come apart. And I just like a little more patience. And again, we'll talk about this underwater, but just like a little more patience because right now your kick is still kind of coming together and you're already starting that next pull. And I like to see before we start that head lift, get those feet, let that kick completely finish so it can push those hips up higher. But still, not bad. You're working on a lot of what we've been talking about. The timing of the kick, you're trying to drive it at the right time as you drive, as you fall down into the water. You're trying to drive that kick, that looks good. Getting the height really well, getting the hands, forearms, and elbows in alignment, which is what we work on a lot. 
Um, big thing is just you're just a little bit too far forward with your body, with your shoulders and chest as you come out for that breath. Try and come a little more upward with it. Not a lot, but I want you a little more than you are. And that will help you get that extra inch or two up into the air that will get the elbows just under the surface. So, but we'll take a good look at that in the above water video. I'm, I'm really happy with what I'm seeing with a lot of the stuff we're working on on this above water video, but I think a lot of the nitty gritty is going to be underwater. So let's swap on over and take a look.